Hi, what is a frequency distribution? For us to understand what a frequency distribution is, it will be better we start from the definition of a distribution. So, what is a distribution? A distribution is how values or class of any variable is structured in a sample. This sounds difficult to understand, but as I explain, you're going to understand it a little bit more. So, what we just mean by this is how the values or a class is distributed. It's as simple as that. So if we have a categorical variable, the variable has classes and how those classes are distributed in a sample is simply put the distribution. And we give an example by talking about this variable is called vaccination status. It has three classes or three levels or three categories because it's a categorical variable. These are the categories. It's fully vaccinated, partially vaccinated, and unvaccinated. So how are these classes distributed in a particular sample? We would explain the distribution in that sample. Okay. We would give another example, which is number of siblings. For the number of siblings, number of siblings is a numeric variable. So we're expecting to have values. So the this particular variable has values of one to five. So the distribution here of these values is how the five values are distributed in a particular data set or in a sample and you see as we go along with our examples so now what is a frequency distribution a frequency distribution is just a distribution now of the frequencies of those values or classes in a sample or a data set so when we have those values and we've seen their frequencies the distribution of those frequencies is the frequency distribution okay so for example the vaccination status we collected vaccination status from 50 persons and we got these results 10 of them were fully vaccinated 15 were partially vaccinated and 25 were unvaccinated this simply put is the distribution of the frequencies in this 50 persons Okay, so the other example which we have is the number of siblings. And imagine that number of siblings, because it's a numeric variable and we said it has just five values, one to five, we found that out of the these 50 individuals, 10 people had just only one sibling. 20 people had two siblings, 15 people had three siblings, and five people had four siblings. So a frequency distribution here, we'll be talking about the distribution of the frequencies for the number of siblings. So how is this distributed? So this is a frequency distribution that we have for this particular variable. So now we can now come to what is a frequency distribution table. Now, because we have seen how the frequency distribution looks like, it's not something that can easily be understood unless it's put in a table. So when you take the frequency distribution and you put it in a table, you get what we call the frequency distribution table, which is a table that shows the frequency distribution. As simple as that. So for the vaccination status, if we're putting the frequency table, we can draw the table thus vaccine status on this side and put the frequency and then we know the fully vaccinated is 10 partially vaccinated 15 and unvaccinated 25 giving a total of 50 individuals okay and then we can also draw that for the number of siblings as this so and this is also a frequency distribution table for the number of siblings here you can see that we have a two frequency distributions one frequency distribution is for a categorical variable which is the vaccination status the other frequency distribution is for a numeric variable which is the number of siblings in this video we have been able to talk about distribution what a distribution is what is then a frequency distribution and then what is a frequency distribution table which is the table that is used to represent the frequency distribution and we said that this can be done with a categorical variable as well as a numeric variable thank you very much for watching in our next video we'll be talking about cumulative frequencies see you in the next video peace